Thinking about buying a cheap tablet on Lazada? Beware, I believe the underlying scam is more dangerous than one might assume. When you think maybe I just lose 2000 peso, which is just about $40, in reality you might lose your Google account or all personal data associated with it. If you're doing YouTube, you probably like to have something where you can write your scripts, where you can have like teleprompter style presenting for your texts. I'm using the old iPad Air 3 for years now and it's really doing the job great, but Elsie wants a tablet also and she needs one. I also would like to replace the iPad with an Android tablet because Many software that I use on my Samsung phone is just not available on the iPad. So why should I still have the iPad if I can maybe get a cheaper Android tablet from Lazada? So my idea was let's have a look if there is some sale for cheap tablets on Lazada. And now I tried it again. That's the second time and again I got scammed. It's not really a scam because I get my money back, but I like to show you what kind of hardware they sell and what danger is included with this hardware. At Lazada you find a lot of cheap tablets and let us have a look here on this Samsung Galaxy A9, 1949 peso only. You see it only has one rear camera and the 512 gigabyte is just 2500 but if you look in the reviews you will see this tablet does look totally different but the reviews are all great and this is exactly the tablet i got three cameras on the back and if you scroll down a little more you see more and more of these tablets appearing also the box is the same that I got and it's definitely not the Samsung S9 that was advertised. So let's go and have a look for a different tablet. Here we have a Xiaomi Redmi also 1949 one or two back cameras also 2500 for the 512 gigabyte version and you see that's the box i also received that design is very similar to the ones you already know and also this tablet is not the redmi that you expected this is what i got even i unboxed it when i opened the box it was not sealed at all that is what should be inside the box and you see the tablet i got is black i originally ordered a blue one and you can easily see it's not even fitting here in the box and what you also can see is there is no slots for sim or sd cards visible there is no manual there's just a charger and a simple usb a cable for the very old charging port and if you switch it on it's MediaTek Android but what you can see it says 512 gigabyte the battery was running for possibly a day or maybe two like here so I don't expect a very large battery capacity and about tablet also only shows nothing it should be a 10 core 2.5 i already got connected to my home wi-fi but android 10 and there is no update available the kernel version is interesting but that's all here so let's go back to the status and yeah there is EMI information, even I didn't find any EMI slots and the number in there should usually suggest the SIM card is already in, but I didn't see this. But what's important is the serial number. This really looks legit. <laughs> okay, so what I encountered is nothing is really installed and the only thing they yeah, force you to do is 
connect to your Google Play Store, connect to Facebook and so on. And I stopped entering my personal data because I sensed something is maybe fishy here if I send my personal data that way to someone I don't really know. So I tried to just open a new account with a random name and what you see is this email address isn't available. So this username is quite random. I try it a little bit different, which should be even more random, but still this one isn't available at Google. So they really force you to enter your own data, your account that is available and legit. And for me, this is a good way to make sure to get real user data for fraud. Next is I will try the browser to show you the 10 core 2.5 gigahertz performance and you will see it's awful. Let's go to YouTube. Yes, please update your browser. This is not possible without logging in. I will go to my own channel and just start one video and you will hear and see even in 480p resolution, it's lagging, it's stuttering. So this, this tablet definitely has no performance to run even simple YouTube videos. We have just 480p speed normal. Yeah. I then try to show you what happens if I change to 720p resolution. It was not really responsive, but even this is worse than before. I will stop this experiment here because you see this tablet is nothing that you bought or expected and that way I will just tell Lazada to refund and return this tablet to the sender. When I tried to order one cheap tablet before I ordered white color so I got the same tablet like this in white. Seemingly they have this in two colors white and black. but. Usually if you look in the reviews, you will notice there's a lot of tablets that show this kind of style with this three camera look in the back. So if you see those tablet images under a review for a Samsung tablet or a Xiaomi tablet, be aware that you will probably get a fake tablet like this that is in no way comparable to what you really bought and because this tablet is useless until you enter your Google account data, your Facebook data, all this private information. So I really fear these tablets are just used to steal your account data from you because even if I log in and later send it back, they can earn money by selling my private data, my accounts and your account gets stolen. So they don't really lose money because they can reuse those tablets over and over again. And they only have to pay a small delivery charge to Lazada each time they sell. But the data they steal from you is worth much more on the black market. So this is not just a hardware scam in my eyes. This is data fraud. They try to steal uh, potential accounts for Google, YouTube, whatever. And in my case, if I had used my Google account here, they would have access to my YouTube channel. They can steal it and they would instantly get my payments because they can redirect all those payments to my bank. That's why I was aware not to enter any personal data. My Wi-Fi is not an issue because we live in a setback subdivision. So someone to come here to just use my Wi-Fi this is useless, but I just want you to be aware of those fake tablets. And if in any case you get them, just use the return and refund opportunity that Lazada gives you. Return this crap and uh, 
end this business.